you know, you realise how fast this car is when you see it like basically nearly whooping the run. Um, it, it's insane how quick this car is. Sounds like that. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and welcome to another episode here of 5 Star Cars. The car channel where I give my thoughts and opinion on what's going on in the supercar community. Hopefully you like this stuff. Uh, if you do, I would love you to smash the subscribe button because uh, the bigger we get, the more videos I'm going to make and, you know, I'll get a project car for the channel. Uh, look, if you watch, um, you know, Life of Palace, why not watch me? I don't see the difference. I just don't do news. I just give my thoughts and opinion. It's discussed with you guys in the comments, so don't be shy. Do comment below. Um, you know, Red05, he's, uh, he's got a Mustang. Check out his channel. He commented. I love talking to you guys in the comments below about what's going on. It's great to have a discussion and that's what we're here to do. Um, I am going to make an announcement on the weekend. Uh, just something I want to do with the channel that I think will make the channel bigger and hopefully give one of you guys an opportunity to join in. Um, but I'll, it'll only be a three or four minute um, a video that I'm going to make the weekend about what I want to do. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, so who who actually will be covering today? Um, the usuals, the big hitters, um, because there's been quite a bit going on in the supercar community. Uh, Stradman, DDE, and Roy the Exotics, to name a few. Uh, that's what we're going to be covering today. So guys, we might as well just jump straight into it. And just before we do, uh, again guys, as I said, I will be doing vlogs. Uh, just at the moment, there isn't anything kind of really going on. Uh, car dealership has gotten on to me up in Dublin saying I can come up and check out their cars. So the next one in Dublin, which might be in around three or four weeks, I'll vlog my trip. Definitely this time. And I might try, and I'm still trying to get the Ferrari in Belfast. It is quite hard for me to do it. But any you, let's jump in. So first on our list is Stradman. He has gone away. He got the East Oregon Airport. Um, rented out and he linked up with SSC with their 1750 brake horsepower to a Tara. What a machine. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if it's actually aspirated or not, but the thing is an absolute beast. Uh, he raced, uh, so his Veyron raced the SSC or raced the Tua Tara. And you know, you realize how fast this car is when you see it like basically nearly whooping the Varan. Um, it, it's insane how quick this car is. I couldn't get over it. I was just in like, what in the name of God? Now I don't know the price of this thing. Um, I'd be shocked if Manny Koshman didn't actually go away and get one. Um, they are a beautiful car. If I had the money, I definitely would buy one. They are sick, sick fast. So here's a quick clip for you, just showing how quick this thing is compared to Starman's Bugatti Veyron. It's just insane. So here you go. Go! There you go guys, comment below what you think, would you buy one if you had the money? Yes you damn would, you wouldn't even have to even ask a question. Uh, yeah, just insane how quick that car is. Just be, I'll be wondering what YouTuber might end up buying one, if you can get them, how many are being sold, I'm not too sure. But just just judging by that, just, it pre pretty much when it cost second or third, it was gone. It left the Bugatti in its dust. And yeah, it was a great video. I really enjoyed it. Well done, Stradman. And I uh, can't wait to see what is next. Uh, but yeah, what can we say, guys? It's going to be interesting to see what can go up against the uh, Tua Tara. Uh, it's going to destroy everything. Like in near, maybe the Esco. Maybe the Esco. That would be an interesting race. The Esco versus the Tua Tara. Now, that would be pretty sweet. Or the Regera. Um, that would be so cool. So next on the list is DDE. They have moved into their new home in uh, Kelowna. Uh, they've moved from Vancouver Island, um, Nanimo is where they were, and they've moved into a new house, and they gave us a house tour, and I must say, that thing is a pretty big ass house. Um, I have no idea, it's, obviously you can see the lake, um, it's pretty big, He's, he was living in a townhouse, now moving to a pretty big house, um, and, but the main thing about all this was the massive garage out his back, and he has uh, actually said he's looking for an auto technician that can work on the cars, um, you know, that would be full time, which means you'll be getting paid pretty well. You'd have to move to Kelowna. Um, 
I don't know what the wage would be, what they would offer. Comment below and let me guess what you think they're going to offer, auto technician. But the, the garage out the back is massive. I mean, you can fit, what, six cars in there. Plenty of work can be done on the cars, lifts, a whole lot. I would like to see DD actually learn to do something, like instead of paying other people. It'd be cool to see them maybe try and wrap a car or uh, working on an engine just to get them some skills. Um, you know, it'd be pretty sweet, but... Yeah, it's an unbelievable house. The views are sick. Um, and look, GD years going strength to strength. Um, you know, he bought that house. Uh, family's moved out there. I'm wondering what's going to happen with Dave because Dave is obviously staying back in the island. Will we see less of him or how are we going to work that out? Um, obviously, when the border opens back up between the US and Canada, it'll be back to their shenanigans down there. So I think it'll just be, you know, we won't see much of Dave maybe because of where he is. Not too sure, maybe family commitments, no idea, but it'll just be interesting to see how it pans out and interesting what other content we get out of them. And let me know what you think of the house below and the new garage they're after getting. Next on the list is Royalty Exotics. My God, we've talked with these guys so many times. They've turned into like a repo guys, but with their stuff getting damaged. Um, this Hellcat, I've never seen a car to get absolutely battered like this thing I've ever seen. It's, it's insane. Like every time they get it fixed, it gets battered again. And once more, it has been torn asunder. Uh, the guy said he was doing donuts. Um, the back of it was hit. It sounds like maybe uh, the under something's happened underneath the uh, arch. It does at least drive him, but you wonder how much... Um, you wonder how much damage has been done and how much it's going to cost them to fix it. And remember, it was Tony who suggested to get the Hellcat. Uh, you wonder if it's even worth the hassle of having it anymore because of what it's been rented out for and the cost of damages is coming back, you know, weigh them up. Um, because obviously the Hellcat's a lot cheaper to rent than a Lamborghini, like for the day or whatever. And the guy, they showed, they text the guy, they put up his details, they're looking for him, he hasn't paid for the damage, all this kind of stuff. It's crazy what Houston goes through uh, with his company, it's good to see it. Um, even the one he did with Bondi, with the guy that attacked them out the back when they were doing racing around those, uh, those new tri bikes. Um, I look, it'd be interesting to see how. Um, how their hypercar comes out because uh, you know I did see Edmund, Edmund did comment underneath Stradman's uh, video saying that their hypercar is gonna you know be better than everybody else's. I think they're going for two two thousand brake horsepower and it's better looking, it's more luxurious and stuff like that. I'm very interested to see how this hypercar comes out because they're making a lot of claims and you better hope they back it up. I, I want to see them do well and you know obviously Mandy has sold um, AGX to uh, Mitch and. Uh, and um Mitch and uh, oh, the other guy Mark. Um so a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff going on with Riot Heal. It was a fun episode to see how cat getting battered. But let me know in the comments below guys what you think of Mandy and Riot Exotics and what is going on there. Uh, next on the list is one of my favourite channels, RDBLA. I love these guys because they really do mod cars the way I love cars being mod and uh, being modded. Um Full body kits, slamming them, wrapping them, making them look way better than what they are. And this go, they uh, wrapped a Salamandrans 488 Pista uh, in satin white. I loved it. I, satin white, satin pearl white is so nice on this car. Um, if, if I was going with that color, the stripes, I think the stripes for me would either be like a satin gold or gold chrome or purple would be the only ones I go for. Um, beautiful car. He's right about taking decatting it and putting in down pipes would make it sound way better. Um, but, you know, just a beautiful car um, the way it is. Me personally, do I like Salamandran? I do not like him one bit whatsoever. For Salamandran fan, I'm sorry, I just don't like the guy. He's a whinge bag. He wrecked my head when I when I watched him. He, when he had that meltdown, um, the spurts a little crap. I, I just don't like the, his channel and the way he goes on. It's just my own personal opinion. But you know he does have some nice cars, so I will give him that. Uh, pity it's not saying that and why he's putting some stuff in it for some business thing. But you know that's new here or there. We just want to show you the video of the car itself. Last on the list, guys, is FI exhaust. I love covering these guys. You no wonder DDE use these guys so much and put their exhaust systems on their cars. And um, they sound bloody epic. Um, 
if I ever ever end up getting a Lamborghini or whatever, I suppose if I exhaust would definitely be up on top of my list to be putting on an exhaust system. In this video, they actually put one on the Huracan, I think it was the LP640. Um, my God, it just sounds unbelievable. I don't even know which clip to show you. Um, it, there were so many good clips and it's just sounding so sick. So here you go, here's a clip of the Huracan. Um, just ear, earphone users, be careful because this is pretty loud. Oh my god guys, what in the, it's just, it's drool, it's orgasmic, oh, it's so good. Um, definitely a must have if you have a Huracan, they're just, the FI exhaust kill it every time. And they always sound good, the pops and bangs and just the, the pure, really raw sound off it is ridiculous. Um, yeah, just you cannot go wrong with their exhaust systems. I think they're anywhere from eight to 10,000 to buy them. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it if you had the Mooley and if you had the car, you know, I just, I just said I'd bring it to your attention and hopefully you like it. And let me know in the comments below, what exhaust system would you get for a supercar if you had one? So that is everything for today, guys. I hope you liked this kind of stuff and enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and again, subscribe and help the channel grow so I can, the bigger we get, the more videos I'll make and, uh, you know, who God knows where this is going to go. Might have video out. No, Saturday I won't have a video out, but I will have the announcement out on Saturday. It'll only be a three or four mini, three to four minute video for you guys. Just an idea I have for the channel. Hopefully it will do well and somebody will be interested, but you'll have to wait till then. And till then, until that episode, stay safe, peace out, and bye.